Somebody comes to you with a bad foot and it's diabetic neuropathy and you say, oh, we've got some problems here. How do you take care of that foot? Well, once you have neuropathy, there's really no cure. However, there are some things that can really help. For instance, there is a vitamin supplement, they call it a medical grade food, and it can supply all of the nutrients that the nerve endings, the micro nerve endings need to, to help uh, reestablish themselves. You got the name of one of those vitamins? Uh, Metanex is one of them. It's a prescription, it's not over the counter. Pronounce that again. Metanex. Metanex. Yeah, it's a weird name, it's a weird spelling too. Yeah. But. So what it does is supplies some nourishment. Yes. But your purpose would be to keep that foot from getting actively infected before it gets infected. What do you do? Yeah. Well, you, you have to do good foot care. What is good foot care? Good hygiene. So first of all, your feet need to be examined at least once a day. I, re I recommend twice a day. Many people can't see the bottom of their foot. Yeah. So what I ask them to do is put a mirror on the floor Put, and just kind of uh -huh. hold your foot over the mirror so you can see the bottom. You're looking for red spots or sores or uh, maybe you've stepped on something and, and didn't realize it was there. You see Clean. a little blood on your socks or something Absolutely. like that. Absolutely. That's, that is a, uh, that, I see that more times than not. People will come in. I didn't know that until I saw that blood on my sock. And then when you see that blood on your sock, you say, uh oh, we got to heal this quick. That is a hot spot. So how do you protect that foot from getting worse and worse and worse and creeping up the leg. Well, if there's any active infection, of course, you want to treat that with antibiotics. Mm -hmm. um, we, we also do wound care for uh, wounds that are open. There are different various creams. There are collagen powders. How often should a person with a bad foot uh, from diabetes, and they've gotten their diabetes, how often should they visit the doctor or everybody's an individual? Right. Well, if you're actively treating a wound, we probably see these patients at least once a week, sometimes even twice. Um, if they're a diabetic who doesn't have any wounds or um, had a wound in the past, but it's healed now, a lot of times we'll say about every three months they need to be uh, examined. And so a lot of times we'll do just general foot care while they're in there being examined. We'll trim their nails or trim corns and calluses. Just make sure that those areas aren't going to turn into something that they shouldn't. When you catch a diabetic neuropathy foot early, can you frequently keep that yes. foot in good shape? That's a great question. I get asked that a lot, and the, the, the simple answer is yes. We have found out um, by good foot care, proper shoes, and then getting into a really good program for monitoring their blood sugar and keeping that under control. Um, of all the things we do, I'm gonna say the most important thing isn't even in my field, and that is get the blood sugar under control. Because if your blood sugar is under control, you're not going to develop the arterial disease, the circulation, you're not going to develop the neuropathy, and your immune system is going to be stronger. And those, those three things right there are, are just, you can't, you can't put a price on that benefit. 